Okay, here's one of the types of calf house. I'll just get a general, imp general impression first. Looking up, I'm smelling, you know, it's not too bad yet. I've got a bit of an aperture in the roof, solid sided, very traditional. Not too damp in the middle. A few feed containers lying around. Um, no mechanical ventilation in here. Um, a nicely bedded. No water in front of the calves, um, but we can check that out with the producer. Um, the calves looking mainly, mainly dry and relatively clean, and so pretty happy about it. We'll come down here, and um, yeah, not unsurprisingly, you know, I can I can smell the fact that I'm in in in, in a calf house, but otherwise, you fairly straightforward. So. I'm in here, these are obviously a series of individual pens on this farm. There are three different areas where we have calves. Um, and we'll just go through them one at a time. And we'll then come on to making the diagram um, on which you get a heck of a lot of information. Okay, so the, the diagram is a, a very simple and uh, valuable way of capturing all the information. So I'm just going to call this calf house number one. There are three different styles on this building and we don't need to make it too difficult. The building is effectively a rectangle and I've got myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know I've got a little bit of a passageway there. I've got seven pens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pens and I've got one, two, three, four, five on the other side and there's a door so that works well like that. I'll measure the pens in a minute. Um, I've got a bit of a curve the way through because it's an old shipping, an old dairy unit and here we've got straw and here we've got some feed buckets um, and the finer detail we'll be able to get out of uh, the photographs so, I've got solid walls on both sides. I've got a doorway here. So, that's a door. I've got a big door to the front that basically goes from here to here. So that, again, is a large door and I've got a little bit of an access hatch at the back, another door, a bit of traffic going along in the background, and I've got quite a steep pitch on the roof. I'll come back to that in a minute. And so, solid, 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 all the way around there, solid at the far wall, and I'll give you some roof detail in a minute. So we now need to know what is the length and what is the width. So the measure, we have it here. We turn it on and that gives us the red mark on the wall. That's obviously not going to give me a very useful reading. So I clear it by pressing the button at the bottom quite quickly. I press it three times. I've cleared the screen and now what I do for the width of the building you put the back end of the laser measure on the wall press on and I've got the red mark on the far wall don't get confused with anything else and that gives me a measure of 5.936 far more than accuracy so 5.936 meters Keep all the numbers, numbers are good. I clear it again. Off we go. I've now got that on the rear wall. Oops. Press it again to give me a reading, which is 14.2. And I strongly suggest that what you do as well from time to time is you check the measurements that you have. Certainly the shorter ones using the tape measure. 
in passing. This is easier with a tape measure. The side wall is three meter high. So if you like, I can do that. Very simple diagram. And I'm going from here to here is 3.0 meters. Okay. I've also got here, I've got a hole in the roof, which if we have a look up there, we're not going to go up and, and measure it. But again, what we do is we make, we make an estimate. It's more than two inches. There's two inches. It's more than, so we'll maybe give that, it goes in and out, but the point is, number one, we have a hole in the roof. Number two, I'm going to say it's three inches or 70 mil. So it's the full length of the building, so the aperture in the roof, I'm going to say hole equivalent to, it's 70 mil, millimeters, and its length equals 14.2 meters. Okay. Looking around you'll see that the pens are not identical but we've got the length they're all 1.5 meters deep and they're between 95 and 105 centimeters wide. So I'm quite happy that we describe these as being 1.5 meters deep and one meter wide. You know there's no point being too pedantic here. It works fine to me. So we're good on that. I've put the markings down here on you, nothing sophisticated, one and a half meters deep, one meter wide. That's it, that's all we need. We've got the number of pens as well, and now we'll wa walk on a little bit, and whilst we're here, I'm looking at the floor. Again, this is an area whereby um, I'm saying don't be too caught up with your precise measurements. I'm just going to sort of say, well, for my own interest, we know the building, you know, is almost six meters wide. Well, that is 800 mil width of this passage in the middle. Just gives me a little bit more detail. I put that down as 0.8 in the middle. But in terms of dampness, what I'm now going to do, this isn't too bad. And what's interesting to see that is that they're using... Um, a little bit of drying agent to, to keep them clean on the floor but I'm just going to put here I'm just shading it off there's a little bit coming off the front of the pens it's no big deal it's no big deal we've got dampness running in, in, in the bottom of the gully, gully there a little bit and then as we come away here there's a little bit more in the middle so you know, these one, two, three, four there's four pens, not five actually, I notice here. But there's quite a bit more dampness here. So I'm putting that down quite simply. We're getting a trickle. Because other farms you'll go to, you'll find this could be completely damp or completely dry. And I think really that's, that's all I'm happy to do here. You don't need to sort of turn that into percentage. We'll do that back at Athby.